welcome to ACPN YouTube. Thank you for everybody that subscribed. Thank you for all the comments, the good feedback of results you're getting on what we're showing you guys. That really makes it worth it. Guys, we've reached over 308,000 views in January 2019, and that's thanks to you guys. Also remember to hit that little bell next to the subscribe button if you want to be notified every time we upload a video. Now, this is one of the requests we received. Um, on doing a double figure of eight a lot of guys have spoken about a double figure of eight and uh, um, in some of our videos but they haven't shown it exactly and sometimes our hands are in the way working with mono it's very difficult or with fishing line it's very difficult to see it so i'm going to show you guys um, just on using rope so you can see exactly how that that works now you'll do it onto a hook you can do it especially with the thinner lines uh, from 0.70 down I will do a double figure of eight onto a hook or into a swivel and what I'm going to do today is just use the opportunity to show you how to do a leader to a main line with figure of eights a double figure of eights and this can also be done look at our previous video of how to do a bimini twist so let's call this already got a bimini twist it's got three tag ends here and this is my leader line and that's how we'll do it so basically you'll put the two cross from each other like that then I do it this way. There's many different ways you can do it. A double figure of eight is not worded 100% correctly. It's actually a one and a half times figure of eight. Normal figure of eight, you'll take it over your, well, I'll take it over my finger twice. Now, when we refer to a double figure of eight, it's just the third time. All right, so you working back to your main line with the three loops, you'll take those off and then away from your main line you'll slide the tag through all three loops and then when you draw it you'll see now instead of just forming one figure of eight it's got a third loop there all right now when you pull all of that tight figure of eight awesome it ties it, it pulls back on itself all right so you've got that tag, tag in there now with your leader you're going to do exactly the same on this side and of course I'm right-handed so I'm just gonna turn it a bit so I'm gonna do exactly the same just make sure I've got enough tag here to do it three times rope stick three times towards itself and then the tag end through all three loops away from itself okay and that's a double figure of eight what I'll do just now, show you guys how to actually do it onto hook. Now you see you've got both this over both, that one over both. You pull it just fairly tight on the tag ends, so it sits nicely, but not too tight that you can't move them. And then you slide them to each other and that will hold. That's your knot. Okay, that will be your leader knot. Then you pull your tags as tight as what you can. Make sure it's, you pull this very tight again before you clip your tags. Also essential guys, wet your knots before you pull them tight. What happens is they slip. If they dry, they don't slide. They slip and then they burn and that's a weak spot in your line. And if you're gonna part off because of that, that's your own fault. So make sure you just use some saliva to wet them before you pull them tight. I just wanna get one of these knots untied. I didn't pull them too tight luckily and show you guys how I would do that to a hook. Alrighty, I've got some of these really big eye hooks which will work for this, the rope will be able to go through it. Okay. So you put your line through, very simple, and where you would do a double, uh, a normal figure of eight, that's twice. You do it three times, that's referred to as a double figure of eight. I slide, and you do it towards the hook or the swivel, slide all three loops off and then the tag end goes away from the hook or the swivel like that and you'll see now that it's forming the eight with the extra loop <laughs> you want to call it that you pull that fairly tight so you can still move it down to your hook and you pull it as tight as what you can onto your hook then pull your tag pull it again and then clip your tag and there you've got a triple or double figure of eight um, and I'll just show you guys quickly while we're at it that a normal figure of eight, just in comparison, and I haven't even pulled it out, but still you're going to battle to get this. 
It's really an awesome knot. Um, we actually tested it with a lot of, the only knot I found stronger was a polymer. If you want to use a polymer to, to tie your hooks or swivels. With braid, I would only use, if this is braid, guys, don't use a figure of eight or a double figure of eight, use a polymer. If you want to tie braid straight to a hook or a swivel, always use a polymer. Now, just to show a normal figure of eight, it's only twice. And then I'm just doing it for the purpose of showing you guys the eight. Once you take the loops off, away from your hook or your swivel, and it forms that eight, as you can see there. When you pull it, it pulls nicely up onto each other, making those two. So by adding a third loop, you're going to have three of these. And that's a double figure of eight. Thank you for watching. Guys, remember, let us know if you're getting results on anything we show you guys. Mail it to grindelite.co.za. Grindelite at ASFN.co.za. Um, photos of catches, anything you want to share with us, and we can try and share that in our news flash, our weekly news flash. Also, remember to subscribe if you haven't. Please like the videos if it was helpful for you. And uh, remember to push the little bell there, which will notify you every time we put a new video. Thank you to you guys, our ASFN family, that's uh, making this all worth it to do it and show you guys whatever we can and share whatever we can to help you get better results.